And now, Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink, presents Because We Can, starring John Brankus. It's the show where we do whatever the hell we want, because we can. Tonight, Master Magician and Illusionist, Vitaly Beckman. And now, here's your host, John Brankus. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Because We Can. It's Friday night. Uh, the world has gone totally mad and crazy. So what we wanted to do is have a little fun and hopefully take your mind off of it for a little bit. This is our tricking episode. We're going to have some tricks that are pretty amazing and very, uh, very varied. Big variety. So joining us tonight, first and foremost is the voice of Killcliff, the Washington Capitals, and because we can, it's Wes Johnson. Good evening, John Brankus. <laughs> uh, Wes, I want to I want to hear how do you put your kids to bed? I want to hear that that sounds in the booming voice. All right, kids, it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I like. All right, Wes, why don't you introduce the uh, other fellas that are on the show right now? We got, uh, why don't you introduce our drinking bro? And now, from the drinking bros, a man who's been lubricating all day, getting ready to speak to you tonight, it's Dan Holloway! Woo! Wow. Wow, that was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know what any of that means, but I am diped up. Uh, ever since this whole toilet paper scare happened, I've been diped up this whole time. I'm not taking any chances, guys. <laughs> You've been diaped up. <laughs> yeah, we're in a diaper. You don't know what diaped up means? Uh, dude, wait, wait, hold on. John, you just asked on. me if I don't if I know what being diaped up is. I yeah, mean, that's dude. A reasonable question. That well, of course I do. I'm wearing one now, just like you. I mean, what else do you do? It's quarantine. Everybody's grabbed toilet paper. By the way, by the way, uh, depends undergarments are not designed for beer pisses. Ooh, it's true. Right, yeah. This is actually true. Uh, <laughs> that is actually true. So, Wes, why don't you introduce uh, G Dub? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say G Dub Garrison. Uh, why don't you introduce him? <laughs> because you didn't say it, it's now time for me to introduce <laughs> G Dub Garrison. <laughs> oh, baby, this never gets old. Uh, the that comment section on YouTube is already a dumpster fire, so that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, well, point. joining us tonight, we have one of my absolute best friends in the world. Uh, you know, before sports science, there was a show called Fight Science. Before Fight Science, there was a show called XMA, Extreme Martial Arts. XMA is created by the oh, one, the one only... I mean, Mike well, Chat. Mike Chat, say hello. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much, John, for having me on the behalf of Martial Tribes, the largest neutral yeah. martial art platform on Facebook. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, I don't know what those other guys were talking about, but we're going to be talking tricks tonight. <laughs> hey, can I can I ask a question? I've got to I got to wonder what you mean by uh, neutral. Like, are you not a gang yes. affiliated martial art organization? What's going on? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Not gang affiliated, right? <laughs> Not violent, but uh, opposed to the UFC and one fighting championship that focuses specifically on mixed martial art fighting. Martial Tribes covers all martial arts, mixed martial arts, Muay Thai, Karate, Taekwondo, military-based arts, self-defense, everything in the sport karate world. So it's a, it's a general platform to celebrate martial arts and, in, and inclusive of all different styles, races, religions, philosophies. And, and, and Marshall Tribes has like three and a half million followers on Facebook. It's yes, like uh, and, and, and 10 times the engagement of many of the biggest martial art and fitness sites out there. So we're excited to be here. Thank you for having us. All right. So listen, Dan, this is what you don't know about Mike. So Mike created XMA and you're like, what's XMA? XMA is extreme martial arts. Essentially, this is true. Mike Chat is the Tony Hawk of martial arts. There's a whole category called XMA now in martial arts, 
where he fused, it's like Hollywood martial arts. And he has, it's a, it was a huge nationwide movement, still is. And he's trained some of the greatest actors, stunt doubles, actors, like kid actors. He's like done it all. So he's like the Hollywood martial arts guy. And Mike is now part of Martial Tribes, uh, which is an incredible uh, site. And they're streaming because we can. And we're very grateful. Um, and so, Dan, I don't want to see you bewildered by saying, what do you mean by neutral? No, no, I enjoy the uh, information. I actually taught uh, Air Bud how to dribble for that uh, basketball movie you did. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> no, it's not. I made that up. I definitely That's made hilarious. that up. All right. So, uh, Mike, we're going to start off uh, with the martial arts tricking. And I want you to introduce our very, very special guest. And before you actually say his name, we are. I'm making an app. Uh, that's called Soul and Science in conjunction with Intel. And we're releasing it literally in like three weeks. And our special guest tonight is part of that app. It's the first AR sports app that's ever been created. Um, look up Fast Company, the magazine. They just did a big article on it. The app is going to be amazing. Uh, but Mike, why don't you go ahead and introduce our very special guest and tell us what we're going to take a look at here. Well, martial arts tricking is martial art kicking plus acrobatic flips, twists, rotations, you name it, we throw it in there. And uh, tonight's special guest from Adrenaline Worldwide, I uh, have watched him grow up over 17 years of traditional martial arts and then combining that with the world of acrobatic martial art uh, kicks that we call tricking. He is the current world champion under Adrenaline Worldwide and he has the most firsts in the world of tricking he has uh he was the first to do a triple swing through cork we i don't know if we'll see that tonight but he was the first to land a quadruple corkscrew where you're spinning horizontally four times in a row um no skates no ramps just off of his own two feet um he's the first to do four swing through corks we'll see some th swing throughs and many other firsts in the world of tricking uh from adrenaline worldwide Let's introduce, it's an honor to introduce and have him with us tonight, Michael Guthrie. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's an intro right there. That is. That, Without uh, any further ado, I think that uh, I could better move than I could speak. So let me go ahead and show you what he's talking about. I want to see something. Watch this. Watch this. So we call it a, a tricking pass. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the cameras can catch this. He's moving so fast. Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> what was we can that? Do, we can do some more moderate, some more moderate things. Maybe it'll be a little bit slower for the camera here. Hold on. It's breakdance fighting. Those oh are called god. swing throughs <laughs> because his oh my one god. leg doesn't touch the ground and it continues to swing through. Wow! Nice. Oh my nice. god! Then Michael, can you do a bunch of can you do a bunch of swing throughs like right near the camera? Absolutely. Here. All right. You see it. I'm out of frame, so notice, frame right now. You're, you're, in, frame. you're in frame. Okay. So only one leg will touch the ground. Good Lord. Crazy, oh crazy God. difficult. Crazy <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Oh, my wow. Lord. So That is – that's crazy. Yeah. Thank if you, you want to compare – what is this compared to other sports? Well – He's on the level of the best world champions and Olympians in any sport. The, the amount of athleticism and precision and physical conditioning and training that requires, uh, you know, one to perform these types of moves like that is, right. is amazing. Then, um, you know, to, to maybe give the audience a better understanding, Michael, then like a magician would start off with some basic tricks, right? And lead up to the big ones. We wanted to show them something big and bold, then show them maybe just some of your favorite basic tricks that would just be one single move. And then we can go into maybe just putting together, linking two to create a combo and then three, and then how you creatively express yourself through this movement and then add on to create your uh, world championship winning tricking combos. Good. Perfect. Well, I know two moves right off the top of my head that uh, Mr. Tony Hawk of martial arts himself, Mike Chat, had you know, <laughs> kind of made an icon out of these two moves amongst his performances in his day. So I'll show those off really quick. The first one's called a double leg. 
happens just like this. Oh, nice. And then you have right. D540 kick. Nice. Okay. And then a simple back flip and front flip done with a little bit more of a martial arts tricking twist to it. Wow. That's, That's called, called a, a loser or a Webster, right? And then a flash kick. Whoa, so is there gravity, is there gravity in that room? Uh, we like to call it the hyperbolic time chamber. It's a little bit off. It's a little off? Like you got you turn gravity down, right? Right. We have we have some settings to that we're working with. Okay. All right. That's you have good. your apps, we have ours. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we might be in one of those situations where it's not evident how difficult what I'm, what I'm seeing it is. Like, like it's. Uh, yeah. I, I've seen this. I've seen this with in concerts when guitarists that weren't expected to do so just go crazy and start playing crazy shit. Um, I feel like we might be seeing something that our brain can't fully comprehend. What's happening? To be honest, I would love to see like little. Uh, Oh, actually, maybe I could just go watch Fight Science and figure it out. But uh, exactly, uh, like just exactly. seeing the physics involved in the way this guy's body is moving is, is would be really interesting. It's a it's amazing. So here's what's amazing is this app that we're that uh, we're coming out with with Intel that's called Soul and Science. So we had Michael in a dome that's twenty thousand square feet, shooting with over a hundred cameras at eight K simultaneously. So it's bullet time on steroids, and Michael's doing the exactly the kind of stuff you're seeing here but we're shooting them from every possible direction. I mean, I saw it in person in Intel. It was the first time that I met Michael and he came down. I mean, literally everybody that's, that was watching is like, what, what is this? Is he human? Like, what, is, what are you doing? It's like, it's so hard for us to comprehend. Put to, Michael, can you put together, put together some kind of pass for us like you did in the, the Intel Dome, you did some crazy tricks. I, what was the trick that you remember? The one you did that you were like, "I got to do it again. I got to do it again." Oh, there was a couple of combos, but I'll give you guys a big trick. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but luckily I can rep it as many times as I need to. This is called the triple corkscrew. I'm decently well known for this. We'll see if my AirPod stays in the whole time. <clears throat> Oh my god! You got to do that towards the camera. <laughs> I got you. I'll do it again. Do that. Do that towards oh the camera. Gosh. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> it's just like a cyclone. It's like a blur. Three. Oh my spins. god! How many <laughs> spins is that? That's three off one leg, sir. Wow. <laughs> Dan, how many times can you spin off your leg? Uh, zero times, John. And that's how many times I'm going to spin off my leg as well. I'm not going to do that. Exactly. The zero. That's a surprising shred. answer. Shred on a guitar, but that's going to shred your groin right there. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest one in tricking right now is the, the quadruple corkscrew. I was the first to do it. And now there's one or two other guys that have also done it. And I'm sure there's other athletes that are working their way towards it. But it is definitely like the biggest trick to do in our sport right now. So what, what's really cool about this world of martial arts tricking, it honestly is a lot like break dancing or, you know, X games where it was like this fringy thing. And if you go online and type in martial arts tricking world championships, it's millions of hits all over the place. And Michael yeah. is literally the best in the world. Like it's crazy. And the tricks that they're trying to do, I mean, think about it. He's the best. Think about not being able to land that. Think about spinning two and three quarters times. <laughs> like, it's nuts. Yeah, and it's not fun when you don't land it. <laughs> you've probably seen him. You just didn't know it was him, right? <laughs> and, and, you know, everybody who says, oh, yeah, all that flipping, tricking, crazy stuff that you see on YouTube. Yeah, that's him. That's Guthrie. Yeah. That's the guy that you're probably watching. And, uh, you know, many people argue, they're like, yeah, but that's not martial arts. You would never go on the street and do that on somebody. But the argument back is, well, you'd never go do a push-up on somebody either. You'd never go do a jumping jack on somebody, but you do that in a martial art class, right? So if, if you can do a backflip or a flip trick kick like this, spin three times in the air, then you are much faster, much stronger, have much more agility, right? Explosive power, dynamic movement, right? And then you are effectively a much better, faster, stronger 
martial artist because of it. Not that you'd right. go throw a, a corkscrew on somebody, but as a traditional martial artist, which we both are, then we use that extra power, skill, and speed for everything that we would need to if we needed to defend ourselves or to apply it to a street self-defense situation. So here's, and here's something that's crazy. Dan, you, you as a fan of martial arts and G-Dub, as a, obviously a practitioner of martial arts, like get, this is what's crazy. So when we got, when I got involved in this, you know, sport bio, you know, uh, sort of biomechanics of martial arts world, Mike Chat was the first person I met. And I asked literally everybody, I'm like, we're doing a show about the biomechanics of martial arts. Who should I talk to? Literally everybody I went to said, oh, Mike Chat, Mike Chat, Mike Chat. I'm like, who's this Mike Chat guy? Why is he such a big deal? So it turns out that in the world of martial arts, it's not very unified. It's like Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu and karate. And there's not like one unifying body. And there are, there's the, there are actual competitions for forms. And as I learned, I'm like, oh, why is Mike Chad a big deal? Because as it turns out, all this, what you just saw Michael do is this tricking thing that was started by Mike Chad. He was like the first guy to like introduce this crazy tricking into all these forms. And they had to create a separate category because it was unfair because he was so much better than everybody. So they created the XMA category. And he's so he's genuinely the Tony Hawk of martial arts. And so now, Mike, when you watch Michael, I mean, can you do the stuff that Michael's doing now? <laughs> Absolutely like, not. <laughs> like not even close. When, oh my gosh. When when I was competing, it was very, very base. Like what you saw him do with the individual tricks, 540, double leg, uh, 720, single tricks, very short combinations, 540 hook kick aerial, maybe three, four techniques at a time, not these six to 10 technique combinations done in a row. And we, we were doing 720s vertically, not horizontally. And so <laughs> Michael and you know the whole industry has taken it to another level. Michael's the one that's been spearheading it for many, many years. He's competed on ESPN, won many, uh, won many championships. And um, it's been incredible to see this sport evolve. But you know, if you look at some of these basics, um, mixed martial art fighter in the UFC ring. Like we have this comment all the time. They say, yeah, bring that into the ring. Well, um, okay. Anthony Showtime Pettis, the kick hurt around the world. The guy that ran off the cage and kicked the guy in the face. He learned that doing, growing up, doing XMA in, in his uh, local martial art demo team. Sergio Pettis, same thing. Uh, Sage North, Northrup. Uh, all of these guys used to compete and do these types of forms and acrobatic maneuvers, and they literally took these to the MMA ring. So not to say that they're going to be doing dubs and, and triple corks, but uh, it's pretty amazing to see the crossover. Yeah, pretty awesome. I, I'm, I, look, Mike Chad is one of my best friends, but I can't tell you, I, like, the best part of my job is learning. And when people, I had no idea this world existed or that Mike Chat, like, started this whole wave. And Mike's in amazing shape. And when we were doing XMA, he did some amazing stuff. I mean, like, wow, that's amazing. No offense, Mike, but Guthrie has taken it to a new level. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, it, uh, to me, there, it, there's no comparison. Like, yeah. it's like, I, I was at the forefront, but then, then that was it. Then, like... Then Guthrie is awesome. like the 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 SpaceX uh, rocket that just took off. Right. <laughs> All right, and it so continues wait. for a torch to be passed on through future athletes through Adrenaline Worldwide and everywhere throughout the world as well. Yeah, Guthrie, yeah. You're, you're so you're so humble, and you're first of all, you're too good looking. You're incredibly <laughs> you, humble. Sir. You're ridiculously <laughs> athletic. It's like this whole you like I don't I don't know I I don't know how to like make you less perfect, but you're 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 pretty amazing. Uh, hey, I want to, can much. you close this out with one, with one good pass of something? All right, cool. I've got two of my favorite little, you know, I guess you say crowd pleasers. They're not huge, big tricks, but there's something that always, you know, they're, they're always fun for the party tricks. So here we go. We got the, the fun little, everybody's got the push up, right? Everybody knows how to do a push up, but can you do from your face oh like that? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we got a little different push up on that one. Talking the answer is no, we can't. <laughs> 
And then sometimes every now and then you just got to take a seat because you're a little bit tired from doing all your flips and whatnot. So you just got to take a seat. But then when you need to get back up, <laughs> so that is trick. amazing what is that called uh just a push-up webster uh as we had that that one-footed front flip earlier called the webster just call it push-up webster and then just a sitting flash kick wow uh so I, I haven't get, heard you say anything i'm just kind of a i just first off i don't when you said world world champion um What's it called? What, trip? Yeah, I was expecting some salty old broad, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> second off, uh, how big are you, dude? Like, how tall and how much do you weigh? I'm five. I, I'm five seven, and I go between one sixty and to one fifty. You know, it ranges between on what I'm what I'm doing. I got you. I'm trying to put it in perspective. It's hard to kind of put a gauge on yeah. um, what size dude you are, but yeah, no way. I can. My martial arts is. I'm a filthy, grimy grindy wrestler bjj black belt and uh, stick your right, chin yeah. in, take one give one back nothing like this yeah it's yeah, pretty, I'm a, I'm a it's pretty incredible that sure. that kick by dan you know that kick by pettis that you've seen a million times right yeah that was great that's one of the best finishes in uh, ufc history to be honest yeah yeah and that's the and that's the what's crazy is that is xma like that's the like yeah. that when you're like how did he do that it's like oh he grew up doing that no, it's incredible. It's good to be creative in the ring like that and any kind of fight that you're in. I mean, look, uh, you learn the basics, even in like military combatives, you learn the basics, but stuff doesn't always go the way you think it's going to go in a fight, obviously. So, exactly. uh, yeah, you got to be right. more creative sometimes. I want to go back to the part, though, where he was talking about you don't do jumping jacks in a fight. How funny would it be if two dudes got in an argument and they each just started working out and it got progressively worse? Like one guy's up to doing burpees, the other guy's like kipping up on a pull-up bar and then you're like what are we doing here guys that's what i want to know why are you guys working out so hard i don't understand if awesome. you've ever seen a street fight ramp up between two bros sometimes there is a little working out before the fight actually happens yeah well, <laughs> but you're also about this not being a martial art the first moment somebody says let's step outside and watch as this guy start doing a triple axel they'll be like <laughs> <laughs> Been that's competition. awesome why not oh uh, by the that's way great. i didn't know if i should bring this up or not but then i noticed uh the helmet sitting on your couch are we gonna talk about the elephant in the room here do people know who this guy is for real <laughs> he's the blue power ranger come on he man. is the blue power <laughs> ranger <laughs> so mike jack are... got you got your start as the blue power ranger right Yes, I did one one show before that, WMAC Masters for Fox. It was a big hit. That definitely helped. And then, uh, yeah, got cast as the Blue uh, Lightspeed Rescue uh, Blue Ranger, and that's it. Uh, it was amazing. Hey, so. Mike, to, Mike, rattle off some of the like, rattle off some of the kids you've trained and stunt doubles. Like, Mike is like ridiculously responsible for like even the the world of Marvel action and action sequences and you know, the movie Twilight, like t just rattle some off. So uh, Taylor Lautner was one of my students, brought him from Michigan, literally like he lived with me during his first pilot season, got him his first film with some of the Power Ranger directors. And then that snowballed into um, Shark Boy and Lava Girl with uh, Robert Rodriguez and then into Twilight. Um, Jaden Smith, I trained him for eight months for the Karate Kid before Jackie Chan's team took over. There's a whole slew of actors on uh, Disney from uh, Mighty Med, uh, Lab Rats Elite Force, and uh, then one of my students, Matt Mullins, who's now a big stunt coordinator, he, uh, he trained Leo Howard, who was a big Disney star. But then we've got people, uh, Daredevil. Any Daredevil fans out there? Of course. Um, Daredevil yeah. is the only Marvel character to have only one stunt double. And that was one of my students, uh, Chris Brewster, and he doubled and did the fight coordinating for the first three seasons. He doubled Captain America, Thor, Iron Man. Uh, then we have many, we have many of our students uh, from uh, three of the six Wonder Woman doubles I trained, um, Captain uh, Marvel double. And uh, yeah, I mean, Marvel, DC, it's pretty amazing. And then a lot of our tricking champions are Black Panther, Killmonger, um, all the Tron characters, Tron, Rinsler. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's just, there are a lot of them. It's, yeah, it's no, really it's amazing. too many to list. Anyway, so um, 
that's going to wrap up our martial arts tricking portion. And I want to thank Mike chat and Michael are going to stick around. Um, First of all, I cannot thank you enough, Mike, for uh, letting us stream on Martial Tribes. Everybody, if you're not if you're not a martial artist and you're interested in it, that's the ultimate resource. Go to Martial Tribes. If you are a martial artist, go to Martial Tribes. It is like legitimately a worldwide network, incredible resource, uh, and Mike's now part of it. So you'll be able to get in touch with Mike and see some amazing content there. Make sure you follow Michael Guthrie on Instagram. Um, make sure you, you follow martial arts tricking. It's just an unbelievable world. Um, so uh, thank you so much, Michael. Martial arts tricking in general and, and my content as well is on a website called Adrenaline Worldwide. Uh, and you guys yep. can actually get a free month of that right now. If whenever you go to sign up, you use the coupon code MG. There you go. Give that plug nice. again. Cause I think I stepped on you. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so the best site for you to check out any of my content or even martial arts tricking content in general from tutorials, live battles, et cetera. Uh, you can check out AdrenalineWorldwide.com. And whenever you go to sign up, the coupon code is MG, my initials. MG. All Puts right. So, all right. So, listen, um, we're now going to transition from martial arts tricking to the world of magic, illusions, tricks. And here, here's how fortuitous this was. I wanted to just, I honestly just wanted to do a really fun show. And from the beginning of doing this, the first show I wanted to do, I was like, I want to get some incredible uh, magician. I got an email in my inbox on Monday, and it's Vitaly Beckman. He was like, "Hey, listen, uh, I think you know we want to do some stuff." It was like a, it was like an introductory like reminder that we're that hey somehow we're connected. And I was like, "Oh my god, he fell out of the sky! This is amazing." So I've not said his full name. So Wes. Vitaly Beckman, master illusionist and magician. Give him a proper, because we can, introduction. Is it tricking or is it magic? You decide and be bewildered by Vitaly Beckman. Wow. Woo! <laughs> nice. Wow. All right. I'm honored. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. I was actually, I started as martial artist as well. I grew up on Bruce Lee and Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. I, I practiced judo and Jeet Kune Do. And uh, then I, I, I busted all my fingers and I decided that uh, it's been, <laughs> I need to be a little bit easier on my body. So I, I yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right. But so I, not only is Vitaly an amazing magician, but he also sounds exactly like Borat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been told. And another thing I've been told uh, is that I look like Seinfeld. So um, the you do, guy, yeah, right? And you I, do. I can tell you how many times I go. In, I'm in the airport, and somebody approaches to me and says, "Has anybody ever told you, you look like Seinfeld?" And of course, I say, "I never heard that before." <laughs> but I, w I want you. To, I want to hear you say uh, say something like Borat. Say very nice or something. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and that's not, he's not even trying to sound like that. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, Vitaly. Uh, so if anybody is a Penn and Teller fan, uh, Vitaly was on a show called Fooled, right? Fool us. Fool us. Fool us. Fool us. Yes. Fool us. And it's an awesome show. I, I, I watch it on YouTube, it, like on the clips. It's awesome. Vitaly fooled Penn and Teller. And I think, Herbert, do we have that clip? That we could play. Let's play a little bit of uh, him fooling Penn and Teller. We're gonna. I think Herbert's gonna look for it, and we're gonna cue it up. It's pretty amazing. It's a if we can find it. Yeah, the magicians from all over around the world that uh, they fly to Vegas yep. to, uh, to fool Penn and Teller. And uh, I don't know if we should spoil them, uh, the or are you gonna show it? All right, well, let's show a little bit of it. Okay. Herbert, like, cue it up, like, a little bit into it. Our first potential fooler. I'm Vitaly Beckman. I'm an illusionist. I was born in the Soviet Union. Everybody was admiring culture and art. And I always looked at magic as an art form. Magic is very old. They say that in the pyramids, there are paintings of somebody's doing the cups and balls. I used to paint as a kid. My act is about bringing art to life. 
Sometimes I'm being inspired from nature, like leaves falling off a tree, as simple as that. I think that not only that magic can be art, I think that art is magic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vitaly Beckman. And Penn and Teller, uh, see how he fooled him because I want to get to him fooling us. Dan is a massive skeptic. He does not believe in magic. Right. He does. He somehow thinks it's 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 not magical. You know, it's a good and, uh, it's a good thing. You know, because it's it's without it, we're just all you know, believe everything. So, so that's what really evokes the basis to evoke a sense of wonder is at first to be skeptical. Uh, so it's a good thing. But actually, I, I look at magic as, uh, as an illusion that can be true for any art form, including martial arts. And I think you, you can all agree that what we saw by Michael uh, Gothry earlier is like magic because he elevated that sport to such level we can't understand, we can't comprehend that level. It's just like magic. And uh, I, I also used to paint as a kid. And um, I, I'll show you because I transitioned from painting to magic. I used to, uh, when I was about you know, 10, 11, I used to walk around with a little notepad and uh, let, make sure, I want to make sure you guys can see this, yes? So okay. yeah, we can see it. I used to walk around and I used to sketch things that inspired me. So I'm going to use this little notepad mm. to uh, illustrate, for example. I'm going to do a little, uh, a little drawing right now. I hope you guys can see this. So you're probably guessing that yep. it's a leaf, right? Yeah, okay, that looks a little better. But the beautiful thing about magic is that not only we can uh, put our imagination into paper, but we can also make it uh, real. <laughs> <laughs> and we can also we can also remove it from the page. Whoa. No. Hmm. Mm. And so, hold on. Yes, and hold so on I, a second. And you know, I created a whole show about imagination meets reality. Uh, my whole theater show is about bringing art to life, bringing things to life. Leaves, butterfly come out of photographs. Uh, pe pe people come out of uh, of paintings. Uh, things like that. And so, that's yeah. incredible, Dan. How do you think he did that? Oh, I have no idea. It's not even me, really, that's the uh, skeptic. It's my dog. You can see his face. He doesn't even know this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Vitaly, so where, where did you come up with this idea? I've never seen that. Right. So, you know what? I used to paint, and I just felt in my vision, before I even wanted to be a magician, I wanted the pictures to come to alive. I wanted to see. I just had visions of them come to reality. And then uh, I started practicing magic. And I felt that I want to do it in my own way. I felt that I want to I wanna make magic a bit more artistic. And I want to realize my vision of doing things. And so I do it on a bigger scale in the show. Uh, and and there is a thing where I blow on leaves and they come out of a photograph. And there, a lot of butterfly comes out and flies out. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a little thing, you know. All right. What do you got next for us? I think you got a couple things for us. I, I'm blown away by your first trick. I want to see what you got next. Sure, sure. I, I'm happy to show you. Um, I, um, you know, actually, we're in a lot of us in self isolation, right? And uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I do in my spare time. So this is not right. this is not something that's really unique to me. This is just something I like to do. Um, so uh, I got a bill, and uh, hope you can see this. I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to fold it again. And just one, no, one more time. There we go. And I'm going to do it really close to the camera so you can see it really well. And there we go. I think it's happening. Okay, so yeah. that looks a lot better, yes? What? Can you come to my house and do that a lot? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We can do it. Absolutely. Wait. Absolutely. Did you just change the bill? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I didn't, you didn't see that? Can you change it back? I don't want to put you on the spot or anything. but no, I can't. You actually want to change it to $1? Right. Why? I just want to see if it's possible. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to try. I'm going to fold it. Okay. We'll do the same process. So hopefully it works. So now it's a 20. And 
let's see how big the okay. So <coughs> Okay, I think it works. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I think uh, we should have stopped where um, where we uh, well we were ahead. Oh my god! Yeah, Bring you owe me twenty bucks, house. dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I should have. That is amazing. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have listened to John. I should have just stopped. <laughs> we all. That's lost money laundering right there. <laughs> yeah, John Brinkus is no longer my financial advisor. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know why I kept talking and we should have just stopped. That, that's too bad. I can't borrow. You know, I'm really missing the interaction with the audience because a lot of times when I do a show, I actually borrow things and I have people come up and participate. You know, I hear I, I, I keep six feet from my laptop right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I yeah. love it. So what? Uh, I think you promised me that you had three. I can't. Oh, I can't watch sure. this oh, enough. Yeah, yeah. Let's do one. Let's involve you guys. I'm. Much, I'm still want to involve you. So um, we're gonna yeah. try to do it without touching. A lot of times, you know, you have magician do some stuff with cards and select the card. I want you to think of uh, of cards. So uh, John, I want you to name uh, any guests. We're gonna we're gonna use several. So any okay. any guests. Any of our guests. Yeah. Uh, Wes. 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 Uh, I want you to think of a color. Wes. Red. Or black, and name it. And name it. What name? Red. It. I'm sorry. Red. Black. Red. No, no. R red, like in playing cards. A red card or a oh, black oh, card? a red card. Yeah. Uh, no, which one would you like? Black. I want you to. I, uh, which one? A red or a west or a black? A red. A red. Okay. Okay. I want you to nominate uh, another guest uh, next, uh, anyone you like. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Mike. Mike, okay, Mike. So we have red, yes? Wes uh, wanted the red. So Mike, I want you to think in red, we have hearts and diamonds. Which one would you like? Hearts and diamonds. Whichever you name, that's the one I'm going to use. Diamonds. Diamonds. Okay, so diamonds are forever. All right. And uh, one more guest, anyone you like. Let's uh, go with or Dan. Dan's our skeptic. Let's go with Dan. Dan and okay, dog. Dan, you're gonna do right. you're gonna do the last one. Okay, Dan. Uh, Dan, uh, I want you to name uh, a uh, uh, I guess any card, any value. So any value, uh, you mean like uh, from uh, ace three. to king? From ace to king. Three. 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 Yeah. three. Very low value. Three. Okay. So, um, okay, this is interesting. So we had red, we had diamonds, yes, diamonds, and three. So that means we have three of diamonds. We all created this card together, yes? Uh, yes. I did not know which guests are going to participate, but I, 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 let me know if you see this. I've got this little envelope that was uh, sitting here. Uh, can you guys see this? Yes? You see my, my desk here? Yes? And it was here yeah. all this time. You guys can see this, yes? Okay. And it was sitting here the entire time. And uh, before the show... I, uh, I placed a card inside, uh, let me try to get it, inside this uh, envelope. And uh, it's one card, it's folded. There's nothing else in the envelope. And if I open it, just like that, three of diamonds. Whoa! <laughs> well done, well done. Very impressive, oh. very impressive. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Wow. Thank that you. is amazing. Give it a hundred dollars after the air. Here's what <laughs> really happened. I just have one question. When sure. you were doing the uh, artwork makeup or the uh, artwork uh, magic, yes. when you were a teenager, did you ever draw girls? Uh, good question. Good question. I should have. I should have. Uh, a big mistake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Thank wow. You. That is incredible. Now, now, you know what's hey on. John? Do you know what's really going on here is that he works for Google and he's been using all of our devices to spy on us and listen all this time. That's what's really happening. <laughs> you, got me. you got me. So what if we had said four of clubs? Like what would you have I done? I would have been in real trouble. I would have been in real trouble. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe what, next show we can try four of clubs. Uh, that is a Dan. What Dan? What question do you have for Vitaly? Because that's some amazing stuff that we just saw. Uh, look, man, I, I I like science, but I'm not trying to. I I don't like the idea of trying to figure out the trick. That's not the thing for me. The the thing for me is how much effort and talent and skill went into making 
to fooling me. I appreciate that. So I'm not trying to unfool myself. That'd be like trying to make a meal not taste good. Anymore. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. It's a good approach. I think it's still good to, you know, to have that sense of skepticism balanced with a sense of wonder together, you know. And I Sure. Well, I don't think you're like a, a wizard or anything, so don't worry about that. What uh, do you mean? Although you could be. Yeah. You get the right <laughs> robes. You could do it, man. I believe in you. I think you could be a wizard. <laughs> That, oh, I, I, so this is what I want to know. So we, we did a show on, on uh, magic. That's all about, you know, trying to debunk, trying to debunk magic. And it all starts with like planting. Like we would say, well, you planted that card and you, you planted that card ahead of time and you told each of us to say it. And then when it appears on TV, it's like this incredible trick. But none of us had ever met you. We didn't know there was a, a card in the background. How, like, give us some sort of insight into what if we had said four of clubs? Like, you had a three of diamonds in there. Well, we'll just have to try it again next time, see what happens. But uh, honestly, it's, it's, best, uh, it's best to keep it uh, a mystery because, you know, that's, look, it makes us all feel like kids, right? But what happened? Right. And, yeah. uh, but, you know, in, in my theater show, I do things with, uh, with art similarly, but uh, I, I have people arrange fruits and they can arrange them in any position they like, any form they like, like, you know, on paintings. And then they can pick a time on clock. And then I have a painting that uh, exactly the, looks exactly like those fruits, exactly in the same position they select. And so it's like, you know, I'm, I'm an even higher level of complexity. Um, yeah, I wish... I wish uh, I would guys invite you to my show, but uh, we all have to wait till this things go back to normal. Yeah, I, 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 I that is amazing. Where is your show? What's the best way for us to catch it? Uh, so right now, I was supposed to be in Toronto uh, doing a two week run, uh, but my website is Evening of Wonders. So my schedule, my schedule right now, I'll just say it's postpone, 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 postpone on all of my shows, right? But uh, so we'll have to wait. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be in, uh, I'm traveling in the States a lot. So I'll be in the Omaha and Memphis and uh, New York and California and all over next, you know, next, uh, if, if things go, but who knows, right? right. So what happens? Who knows? How well, what's the best way for all of us to stay in touch with you with social media and website so, yeah, and all that? Facebook, Instagram. I have uh, Facebook, Beckman, Vitali, or you can look Vitali Evening of Wonders because Evening of Wonders is the name of my uh, show. And uh, uh, so Facebook, Instagram is a good way to get in touch. My website has uh, all that info as well. My we website, you can go to vitalimagic.com and uh, look me up there. And yeah, you guys yeah, are blessed. Awesome. You guys are so much fun. And I'm still blown away by Michael Gothry. That's just Jeez. insane. It's, it's I'm blown insane. by I'm blown by him. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was some crazy stuff right there. Um, uh, Vitaly, are uh, any of those tricks for aspiring magicians? What uh, wh where where do you recommend they they go? Because those so, tricks were so simple, like right here in front of us, and so complex. Right. So I mean, the um, the effect with the bill is actually something you can learn. So it's actually one of the first things I learned uh, when I was uh, here. I can do this to you again because we. I feel bad that we, we left it at the, you know, at the white paper. Uh, let's try to bring it uh, back. I'm just going to fold it. Okay, I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to fold it like this. We're going to go blow on this. <laughs> oh, my God. And there we've got, uh, <laughs> whoa, I think, yep, yeah, it worked. So we got, uh, we got the bill back. So anyway, this, you can actually learn this. You can learn it from a book. Um, I, I learned it from a book uh, called, um, I don't remember the, the name, the author is Gerald, Gerald Leopold, I think it's a European name. So you, can, you guys can learn that. But the, the notepad, the, the thing I did with, uh, with the, the leaf, and that, that's my original effect. So, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm the only one doing uh, stuff like that. It's, uh, so that one you cannot learn. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. that's incredible um well listen i cannot thank you enough for joining us and uh giving us this gift to just escape um for a little bit i mean it, well it's it, a pleasure it, truly it's a it's a, it's a really my pleasure to be here and uh, enjoy your your uh, company so uh, thanks for having me absolutely again. all right so i want to wrap it all up i want to go around the horn any parting thoughts dan you got anything 
Uh, no, you've. Uh, I, I'm just really glad that you didn't use the uh, the baby filter on your face for the entire show this time. Because <laughs> honestly, it's been in my nightmares for weeks now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh god, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. Oh my god! Whoa! Hold on. That's hilarious. No, I, maybe uh, it's just jealousy because you don't look that much different than you did. Oh as my a child. god! Like, look at this. <laughs> right, it's like, look at this. We got to like fix the green screen here. Like, look at this. If I go like this now, here, hold on. Let's. Uh, let me see if this works. You're so. This good. is disturbing. It's, it's a little disturbing. Uh, let's see. All right. If I look like this, uh, look at, uh, <laughs> hey, is this a good magic trick? Hey, look at this. It's amazing. It's All certainly right. tricking. That's right. Hey, off right now. Yeah, Vital, you may be able to make a leaf come to life, but can you look like a baby? I can't compete with that. But actually, you know what? There is a new illusion where I turn myself old, like really old. And, uh, oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so, G Dog, what uh, you got? A party thoughts? I do. I mean, where do we go from here? We have to have a, a full-on real wizard on next week and a full-on ninja because if we're not going to step our <laughs> game up, what are we doing over here? <laughs> hey, uh, Michael Guthrie, any final thoughts? Uh, no final thoughts. Just appreciate you guys having me on. Maybe one more flip for you guys. I think that sounds good. Yeah. Just a little kick. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dude, that's again. everyone's homework for the weekend. Exactly. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Wes, any parting thoughts? Uh, the only parting thoughts I can think of is I will not be doing anything you saw here tonight. None of it. <laughs> none of the magic. Definitely none of the flips. I'm going to keep all of my hamstrings intact. And if I do any magic with money, it, it is going to make it disappear in the old-fashioned way. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, Mike Chat, any parting thoughts? Uh, I like what Vitaly said. Much respect. Uh, you know, really, it is all about the beauty of that mystery. And it, it's incredible to see the similarities between what we do with our bodies and expression, because we love it. It's our passion. And what you do with actual magic tricks uh, as a magician. I love that. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. And thank you again to Guthrie and Adrenaline Worldwide for coming on tonight. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Um, so, guys, listen, thank you so much. Thanks to Kill Cliff, Drinking Bros, Marshall Tribes, Michael Guthrie, Vitaly Beckman, Wes Johnson, G Dub, Dan, everybody, you know, and also Herbert. Let's all get it up for Herbert because he's uh, doing an amazing job. He's doing an amazing job putting the show together. And honestly, I mean, we started this like seven <sighs> weeks ago. Each week, it just seems to get better and better and better. And when I was like, hey, let's do a tricking show. We gave Guthrie like three hours notice. So it, it, it's pretty amazing to be able to just pull stuff together. But Wes, do you want to know why we do this show? We do this show because we are committed to 100% American winning. <laughs> <laughs> or because we can. Because we can. We have a very, very special guest. Little late to the show, but that's fine. Whatever time he shows up, we're, he's on time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jesse Hughes. Awesome. That was awesome. That was pretty good, right? That was beautiful. I was so desperate hey, to get Jesse, out Jesse, where are you right I'm now? Out the streets right now. I was like, I'm going to do this right now. I don't care where I am. <laughs> where, uh, where are you walking right now? I was going to my um, legal cannabis dispensary, and I'm on Los Feliz Boulevard, and the shops have opened. <laughs> So you can see the uh, uh, Sizzler behind me. There's patrons going into the Sizzler. Great Our place. local bar is open, and I, I just I wanted to see that, just see it happening. Right. How? Uh, what's the mood like right now? Well, it depends, you know. Because I'm in California, everyone seems too afraid to say anything other than, uh, quote, whatever the party line is. Other than that, you know, it depends on the neighborhood. My neighbors were very secured because I was the sort of person that made sure our neighborhood was defended. 
But uh, my mother went and protested with the protest, you know, so it's uh, the mood is uh, cautious. Wow. The uh, I, I first of all, I can't thank you enough for joining us. Um, as you know, we have a very special connection and this is like something that's incredible that we're able to get you on the phone um, when you're just walking the streets. Uh, tell me this, the, like la the, in the last week, what has your perspective been just being in LA? Cause it's been certainly bizarre. I've seen some of the most incredible things I've I ever know. seen in my life, dude. I, I mean, just strange. I saw on Ventura Boulevard, I was there with 10 friends and we saw a truck, a truck like a, a city truck depositing these baskets of bricks. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, dude. And I saw it with my own eyes. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have believed it, which makes me also have some thoughts, you know? Why wouldn't I have believed it? But, um, and I also saw uh, cops putting their guns down and dancing with people. I mean, I've seen just about everything you can imagine. I've seen cops put their guns down and join the protesters when the protest was correct. Um, I've also noted that, you know, not every city's been on fire, and I think we should probably look into the reasons why. Fine. But however you look at it, America's been under attack. Right. Jeez. The, uh, now, Jesse, you are one of the very few people who uh, has seen anarchy in more than one form. What is this uh, comparing to based on, on other things that you've seen around the world? Well, it, it's unique because it, it, the press didn't, there wasn't even a hint of an accusation that could say that uh, any aspect of the mainstream media was complicit. You know what I mean? Everyone was universally against it. Nobody was saying things like peace is good, but sometimes violence is necessary. There, I didn't hear any of that shit. But uh, the things that are similar is uh, innocent people with no weapons getting beaten to death. That's 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 the unfortunate similarity I saw. Right. Jeez. And I got to be honest with you, what happened to us in Paris ended. There was an end in sight for it. You know what I mean? Right. Jeez. Um, well, where are you heading off to right now, Jesse? You, it, you're just getting fresh air because it's awesome that stores are open right now? Well, also because I wanted to get weed. And uh, I'm getting ready to do uh, my, in my Instagram karaoke, which has been my contribution to the quarantine, is I've been willing to make myself look like the biggest idiot ever by singing songs that there's no way I could possibly sing or no hope for me to accomplish. And then sometimes I'll accomplish them and I feel like everyone gets to see me do something awesome. So right. that makes me feel good about myself. There you go. Well, Jesse, we, uh, I can't thank you enough for uh, joining us. Uh, will you come back next week? Can we uh, yeah, and I'll we'll play make music. sure we have the right time? And if you need any updates, I could be your man in the field. I'm willing. See, I've even got my mic. Look at this. I've got a microphone. <laughs> I like that. So I could be That's like, perfect. It like, had like, see, there's this like punk rock girl up here. Watch. I could go like, like, hello, ma'am. Uh, what do you think about what's going on in the world today? Are you crazy scared? What do you mean? What's going <laughs> on? Yeah, see, and then she'd be like, what do you mean? What's going on? See, I could do that, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, why don't we go, go up to somebody random. Just ask him something. <laughs> just be our man in the field. Yeah, say, what do you think and, about but, the weather today? And then maybe we can keep it off the bad stuff. So I'll ask him hilarious non sequitur things like about of all the world leaders you know of, who do you think wears the biggest pants? <laughs> and now with yeah, all just the keep the mood questions, light. your man in the street, Jesse Hughes. Yes, yeah, so of all the world leaders you've ever met, who do you think has the biggest banana hammock? Um you? Ah, me. See, I like this girl. We're gonna go we're gonna get along just <laughs> fine. <laughs> Mm. You know, this, that's the way. That's what we need right now. We need something to laugh at. Jesse that's Hughes, man saying. in the field. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean we have to not take shit seriously, but we don't have to be all gloom and doom all the time. You know what I mean? It, uh, I mean, Jesse, you that's are uh, you are a Netflix gem. Netflix is for, dude. We don't need to be like that. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, listen, you're going to be our uh, correspondent. We might check in with you during the week. If not, then we will uh, come right back to you on Friday and we'll I get another be report. I want to be so bad. I want to be uh, so badly. Uh, All right. On my Instagrams are going to be my live petition to get the job. All right. You, you're, awesome. you, you got the job. No. Well, if you get a chance, I'm going to go live on Instagram right now and start the process, getting better at it. I love this. It's going to be awesome, man, on the streets. All right, man. Everybody go chest out. Check out Jesse Hughes' Instagram feed. He's going to be a man on the street. Thank you so much, it. Jesse. I love you, brother. Right. Awesome.
All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Stay safe. <laughs> God bless you. Kill Cliff, the clean energy drink now with 100% more winning presents the Kill Cliff Super Bouncy Unitard Formation Fitness Championship. Fitness has never been bouncier or unitardier. Look at these winners go. They're smiling so hard, they might break their face. Don't be unitardy to the Kill Cliff Fitness Party. Go to killcliff.com.